And we got my Jeep. The story behind this is I used to own it. I owned it two years ago. I bought it, I was the second owner and I bought it from Rogers Cable from Alberta. And actually before I did the rubbing compound and everything on it, you actually used to be able to still see Rogers in the door of it. And it came from Alberta where they don't use salt and it was in beautiful condition, just perfect condition. And uh, it's got 307.045 kilometers. Still runs like brand new. However, I sold it to buy my motorcycle. And I just got rid of my motorcycle and bought this back because <clears throat> the guy I sold it to was selling it again. And he beat the shit out of it. So this was a little better than regular Cherokees when it came from Rogers. It already had a, a five class 5 tow package on it and all that jazz. So it was about two inches higher than normal Cherokees. Has the heavier rear leaf springs. And it had heavier fronts, which have now been switched out with a 4.5 inch rough country lift. But, uh, and then uh, I put these tires on a couple years ago. So they're still, they're still pretty good. However, since this truck never had salt on it before, basically it's first two winters here kicked its ass. And so did the guy I sold it to. He abused the hell out of it. So... Now I gotta fix it. This was all, the whole rear was all rotted out. Just unbelievable how bad this thing was. And there's still more to do. Still gotta do the floor back here. All in here. This was all gone. It's wet right now because I was just driving it. But uh, it was rotted out right to here. So I filled that back in with some metal. And this guy put this goofy ass tire carrier on it. It's paper thin, just absolutely horrible. That'll be coming off soon. So today we're gonna clean this up. Next weekend I'm gonna show you how to put new rocker panels in. Today we're just going to do work on the floor. So the rear is done. This is all done. Just got to be, I got to clean it and we're going to spray it so that it's nice and pretty. And I have two different types of sheet metal here. This, this piece of scrap I got left here, I had to pick that up from Crappy Tire yesterday because it was the only place open. This I got from Princess Auto. Now this and this, these are actual pieces of sheet metal for body. And you'll see I got this little pile of little galvanized square cutouts, real thin. But uh, these are good, it's good for filler and anywhere that doesn't need structure. And whoever told you you can't weld with galvanized is full of shit. If you are skilled enough if you do know how to weld with galvanize it's actually a really good choice because it doesn't really rust and I picked up this nice new welder for 130 bucks off a classified ad so that was a pretty sweet deal new welders range from 500 bucks and that's just for a little tiny shit welder and finally that's just from doing the rear floor. Well, that's what was left of it anyway. Pretty brutal. Hey, look, failure. <laughs> now remember to always use eye protection. Always use protection. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you to do is when we removed the seat 
one of the bolts broke, only one, so not a big deal. Now there's <clears throat> a fair bit sticking out here, so one of the tricks you can do is to take an ordinary bolt for something, clean the end off real well with the grinder, and same with the uh, broken end here. Uh, one trick we can try doing right now is we're going to weld uh, this bolt to the broken one and try and turn it out that way after heating the bottom up just to make sure that uh, you know do everything we possibly can to get it out if that fails um, we can also lock onto it with a pair of vice grips and hopefully turn it out that way but uh, since we got the welder out this is actually a better technique because you'll use this in other areas it's also not just a certain application like this so I'm gonna hold this with my glove and weld it put it just put a quick spot on it with my uh, left hand even though I weld with my right by protection yep, we got power okay now I can feel the weld tighten because of uh, the heat expansion and contraction. Okay, hopefully you didn't weld the uh, bolt onto the frame. Okay, now I've got my 15 mil and ratchet on there. And we're gonna go underneath with a torch and heat everything up real good and then shoot it with some penetrating loop. Okay, we've got our cuts made. Got all the rot. Fuck this camera stand. Uh. Anyway, we've got the rot cut all out. Oh look, a muffler and a catalytic converter. Okay, so remember that thicker sheet metal I told you? We're gonna use that for the structural areas which is only really going to be this area here and this area back here and that's because of the uh, leaf spring shackle which is attached to the frame here and the structural part right here so we'll get that done also another thing I'm going to do is see right down here where the bracket for the leaf spring attaches to the frame well that's another that's that's one of the sort of weak spots fuck this camera on uh, the Cherokees so we're gonna run a bead of weld down there and another spot I'll show you where that is after <laughs> 